Welcome to NeuroFlux Hub, your destination for incredible discoveries in science, space, and the universe. Have you ever looked up at the moon and felt a silent pull as if it holds secrets older than humanity itself? For centuries, we have studied the near side of the moon, the familiar face smiling down at Earth. But the far side, that side has remained hidden, cloaked in mystery, untouched by human hands. Until recently. In 2024, China's Chang'e 6 mission achieved a historic milestone. It brought back samples from the far side of the moon for the first time in human history. These samples would unlock secrets billions of years old, revealing a side of our celestial neighbor we never knew. Tonight, we will dive into that story. The rocks, the dust, the volcanic history, and the groundbreaking plans for humanity's future on the moon. China's Lunar Exploration Program has steadily advanced over the past two decades, and the Chang'e 6 mission represents a giant leap forward. In May 2024, the spacecraft launched from the Wing Chong Space Center, carrying a lander and sample return capsule designed for a daring mission to collect lunar soil and rocks from the far side of the moon. Unlike the near side, the far side is permanently facing away from Earth, which makes communication and navigation extremely challenging. Ingenious engineering allowed Chang'e 6 to land safely in the South Pole Aitken Basin, one of the oldest and deepest impact basins in the solar system. Using robotic arms, drills, and collection devices, the lander gathered 1,935.3 grams of lunar material, roughly 4.4 pounds, including dust and rocks. This small amount might seem insignificant, but for scientists, it is a treasure trove, the first samples ever returned from this mysterious lunar region. After collection, the ascent vehicle carried the samples into lunar orbit where they docked with the orbiter and began the journey back to Earth. On June 25, 2024, the capsule safely landed in Inner Mongolia. For the first time, humans could study the far side of the moon directly. The moment the samples reached Earth, scientists immediately began rigorous analysis. Under microscopes and advanced spectrometers, they discovered something extraordinary. Basaltic rocks dating between approximately 2.8 and 4.2 billion years ago. This discovery was groundbreaking. For decades, scientists had assumed that the far side of the moon was relatively inactive, but the basaltic rocks proved that volcanic activity occurred there just like on the near side. This means that the moon's two faces share a deeper geological history than previously thought. Even more intriguing was the detection of chemical signatures resembling creep, a mixture of potassium, rare earth elements, and phosphorus. Creep is a marker of the moon's earliest days, evidence that it once had a magma ocean, a vast layer of molten rock covering the surface. As the magma cooled, it formed the crust we see today. The far side's creep-like materials confirm that this early molten stage influenced the entire moon, not just the near side. These findings are vital. Understanding the moon's formation helps scientists reconstruct the story of the Earth-Moon system and offers insight into how rocky planets evolve. China's lunar program is now moving beyond exploration into practical applications. The next missions, Chang'e 7 and Chang'e 8, are designed to investigate resources and test technologies that could support human activity on the moon. Chang'e 7 will explore the moon's south pole, focusing on areas that may contain water ice and permanently shadowed craters. This ice could someday be converted into drinking water, oxygen, and hydrogen fuel, essential for sustaining humans on the moon. Chang'e 8 will demonstrate in-situ resource utilization technologies. The idea is simple, yet revolutionary. Instead of bringing all materials from Earth, astronauts could build structures using lunar soil itself. Engineers plan to heat regolith to create solid blocks or lunar bricks, which could form the foundation of landing pads, shelters, or laboratories. It is important to stress that these technologies are experimental. They have not yet been used at scale, but they represent the first steps towards making long-term lunar habitation feasible. Another remarkable aspect of this mission is international cooperation. China has shared portions of the Chang'e 6 samples with researchers worldwide. Scientists from Europe, Asia, and other regions are now studying these materials, confirming findings and generating new insights. 
This collaboration demonstrates a critical principle. The moon belongs to all of humanity. Scientific discoveries are not just national achievements, they are shared victories for humanity, helping us understand our place in the universe. It's easy to let our imagination run wild, picturing lunar bases, refueling stations, or even permanent colonies. While these ideas are exciting, what is verified today is the scientific knowledge we have gained. Far-side basaltic rocks show ancient volcanism. Creep-like materials confirm a global magma ocean. Plans for water ice exploration and in-situ IRU testing are underway. Every drill, every gram of rock, and every laboratory analysis brings us closer to understanding the moon, one step at a time. We are learning to read its history and preparing for what may one day become human presence on its surface. The moon is no longer just a distant symbol in our night sky. Through Chang'e 6 and the dedicated work of scientists worldwide, it has begun telling its story, a story billions of years in the making. If you've enjoyed this journey through the moon's far side and want to explore more verified discoveries in space and science, subscribe to NeuroFlux Hub. Join us as we uncover the secrets of the universe, one mission, one discovery, one story at a time.